In today's video, we're going to see how to create these awesome augmented reality visual effects in Adobe After Effects. Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Ian Zalea, and welcome to the CreatorGalaxy.com space station. All right, so before we start with this video, you can actually go ahead and download all the tutorial files with link in the description below. We also provide you with the project files for those that are interested to kind of dissect everything. And before we start with the tutorial, I want to talk about this amazing deal I've got for you. We actually collaborated with Five Day Deals and a bunch of other famous YouTubers such as Film Riot, F Stoppers, Full Time Filmmaker, Indie Hustle, Cinecom, Hurlbut Academy, and of course ourselves. We actually managed to collect all of our products together and offer them on five day deals for an insane discount. So currently all of the products are valued at over $2,700 and they're actually making a 96% discount, which is crazy for $89. You will get over $2,700 in value. It's really an insane deal. They call it the complete video creator bundle of 2020. And this is literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. I wish it was around when I started video editing, but yeah, unfortunately, it wasn't. The only downside to this entire thing is that it will end very rapidly at June the 16th. This is completely over and you have no chance of entering whatsoever. So act quickly, don't think too much about it. Go and check out what amazing packages they are actually offering. And I'm sure you won't be able to say no. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Links will be in the description, as I said, and let's continue with the tutorial of today and let's create some amazing augmented reality. So here I am in Adobe After Effects. And the first thing that I will do is import my footage. Then I want to apply the Mocha AE effect to my footage and just mask around my screen. We want to isolate this. Once you're done, you can track forwards and it should automatically keep your phone in the center. Then we can close it and save it, go to the mat and we can create a mask. So I have my phone mask, then I will duplicate the shot and delete my mask. So I have the original footage behind that. And then on the footage that I masked out my phone, I'm just going to pre-compose this and move all the attributes. Once you have pre-composed it with all the effects in there, we can start 3D tracking this shot. We wanted to isolate the phone so we can only concentrate the track on our phone movement and not on the surroundings. So let it analyze. Then we will have all of these tracking dots. We want to select the center of them. You will see this kind of sphere that will show you the kind of perspective that we will be working with. Right click and choose create solid and camera. And for the solid, try to kind of rotate it into place and also match up the size of it. And then we also want to use our pen tool to mask out our screen. Just mask over the hand, we will rotoscope that later. You can actually do this two ways. You can actually record yourself without having your hand covering the screen, or you could have your hand covering the screen. And this will give you a lot more work, but in the end, it will also create depth into your shot and it will look more professional. So once you have this masked, we have something like this. And then I'm going to add another rectangular mask on top of that and I'm going to animate it off screen and also just subtract it. So that way we have this kind of fade of the screen, it gets black. On that solid I will add a rounded rectangle mask, that way it kind of has the form of my phone and I will add a stroke effect. Make it white and set the, the stroke to whatever you like and then I'm going to add a solid composite and set it to black, that way we can add perfect glow to it. So I'm going to be applying perfect glow here. It's just the better, it's the best. It's just the best way to add glow to your footage. So if you want that, you can actually download that for free on our website. I will put a link for that in the description below. Now we want to set this to screen so we can actually see it. And then we duplicate it and we will push it in Z space. The only problem we have here is that we don't see it because the original solid that we created is actually covering up the 3D space and the other layers that you put behind it, you won't be able to see them. So what I've done is I added another solid, made it 3D and just pushed it way back in Z space. And I will actually put this below my original black solid that I've tracked into position and mess around my phone and I will set it to alpha matte. So once I have it pushed back in Z space, I will actually click on my footage and duplicate it on top and I will also open up Mocha AE again. I'm just going to disable the other uh, mask that we created in the beginning and I'm going to create a new mask around my hand that is actually covering up the screen. Then I'm going to track forward and each time adjust it where needed but basically we're going to be rotoscoping at this point so I'm just going to speed this process up. So after I close Mocha I created a mask from it and then I have my hand on top of these lines. 
So for the Discord layer, I will set it to a 3D layer and I'm also going to push it into the position. And you can actually go ahead and copy the position and rotation tags from your original solid layer and paste that on the Discord logo. That way you also put it in the same 3D position of your screen. And actually the reason we are importing this Discord logo is because we have a community Discord channel. So if you wanna go and check it out, we'll put a link to that in the description where we can chit chat or you can ask questions and people can help out each other. So that's basically where we wanna go towards because a lot of people send me a lot of questions about tutorials on Instagram and it gets confusing and very cluttered so I thought a community discord server would help with that solution so hopefully I'll see you there all right so then I trim the logo to wherever I need it and then I will also animate the opacity from on to off so 0 to 100 over a few times to make it flare that way we have this kind of glitch look so after that, I took some screenshots on my phone and I imported them in Adobe After Effects, whatever you want to work with actually. And then I just put them also in my scene. I also toggled them in a 3D layer and I also just pasted my position and rotation keyframes from my original solid that we created the first time. And I pasted to these shots. That way they come in the right position. You can scale them up to wherever you want. And then you can move them in position a little bit like left from the screen, a little bit right from the screen. Uh, so yeah, just play around and put them in a nice position. You can also move the anchor point to put it on another side so you can actually flip it open like a book so you have a little bit of rotation in there that creates a little bit of depth in our shot. And then obviously you can change the blending mode to a screen which will make it look more integrated or more like an augmented reality screen. So after that, we have done something really nice. We actually finished working on our HUD pack and it has a ton of awesome HUD elements. And personally, it's my favorite HUD pack so far that I have used. I've actually always been a super huge fan from HUD elements, but I never found the right pack for me. So we ended up creating one ourselves. We have a bunch of awesome elements in there. And we're also offering you free elements so you can follow along with this tutorial. So don't worry about it. Uh, we have five elements that you can download for free. A link will be in the description below. Let's import a few of these also add the position and rotation tags to that and then reposition them in Z space and try to match them up maybe bring them a little bit closer a little bit farther away from the camera and just make the scene a lot more interesting I also added a perfect glow to this also make sure that your entire project file is set at 32 bits per channel that will make your glow stand out a lot more your colors will be more vibrant everything will generally look better Again, you can move the anchor point to the bottom and like, for example, rotate here a little bit. So it has more that like kind of flip vibe to it. They all animate in on their own. So that's something you don't have to worry about. You don't have to flicker them because they already have that animation. Obviously, you can still play around with that. And by the way, if you get the HUD element pack, you can also dive into the After Effects project file where you can kind of change text or manipulate it if you feel like changing it entirely. I'm just using video elements here just because it's quicker uh, to manage in this project. All right, so that's basically it. So you just put them wherever you think they fit and you will get a pretty nice result. And then for the other shot I have made, so everything I've done here is basically the same. Like in this video, I masked out my screen. I added a space background instead of a black background in Z space. And I used that other solid that we masked as a alpha mat. So when this moves, we only see it uh, on, on the surface, uh, which makes it look like a parallax. And then after that, I uh, just keyed out each app and I had a transparent background on them and I pasted them on the 3D position. And again, I added these HUD elements to finish it off and we get this result. But apart from that, that, that's really what comes to it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and definitely hit the notification bell so you stay notified when we actually upload new videos. Also, be sure to check out the five-day deals and until next time, create epic videos.